really focused and it just all came naturally what God put on my heart to share. But then as I went along, I got sort of distracted by things that weren't important. But around this time when I was struggling with all those thoughts, I actually felt like I wanted to stop the channel altogether because I was so discouraged. And right about that time, I received a comment on one of my videos. And the comment was from another Christian ASM artist who I looked up to and loved, but I didn't know it was her because she was using her actual name and not her channel name. Nonetheless, it didn't matter who it was. I was already really discouraged and not in a good frame of mind. And I'm not going to share who the person was, obviously. And I deleted the comment right away, so I'm pretty sure nobody saw it. And I'm actually friends with this person now. Everything's good. We're on good terms and all that. But anyway, I received a comment that was meant to be a constructive criticism, but because of the frame of mind I was in, it sounded different to me. It sounded critical, and I took it the wrong way. The comment was about how she didn't think that something that I was doing was right or seemed right to her, and instead of going with my own convictions and being confident in what the Lord has called me to do, I got confused, so I decided to step back, and that's when I put out the video about quitting ASMR. I took a few days to step back, but the confusion remained, and I probably shouldn't have put out that video right away. I should have waited. I did step back and wait regarding hearing from God, but I probably should have not told anyone yet, and I want to apologize if anyone in the ASMR community was offended by that video. I wasn't trying to say that ASMR was wrong or anything. I was just trying to explain my convictions about things and whatnot. So the comment caused me confusion because the devil was already playing with my mind. So I decided to stop the ASMR channel and then I created a new channel called Faith to Rise Christian Encouragement. And I created that channel for Christians who didn't understand ASMR, who maybe stumbled by ASMR or have the wrong idea of ASMR. So I created that as an alternative to my ASMR channel, sort of to please everybody. And while that was a good channel, I made a few videos and I liked the topics that I was discussing. I got kind of stretched too thin. I had already had a few channels that I was working on. I started a Disney channel with hopes that maybe I could get a job as a Disney blogger or some sort of a job related to Disney because I love Disney and I just had too much going on and more of the faith content was going to that channel and not so much my ASMR channel. And I wanted to put faith content into my ASMR channel as well, so it was just taking too long for me to do everything and it was stretching me too thin. So I finally realized that I needed to stop that channel, the Christian Encouragement channel. And the reason why I didn't leave it up is because for me, I'm an all or nothing type of a person, and if I left it up, I know I would keep putting into it. It's just the way I am. For me to be able to fully stop something, I have to just shut it all down. That's just the way I am. So I apologize to you if you like that channel and were surprised when the videos were gone. I did make an announcement on Instagram, but I'm not sure that everyone saw it. The bottom line is that the comment, although it was meant to be constructive, made me confused. 
towards this person were friends, everything's fine, but that was my bad for sort of getting distracted and, and allowing uh, one person's comment to change the trajectory of my channel. So it took a long time for me to sort of get back mentally and um, as soon as I started making ASMR videos again, I felt like myself again. I felt like things were not confusing anymore. So that just goes to show you that we have to listen to God first and foremost above everybody else. So anyway, I just wanted you guys to know why I started making videos again. I'm very empathetic and sensitive towards people, sometimes to a fault, where I don't want to offend people uh, or stumble people, and um, that's good to some point, but it's not good to the point where you allow it to confuse you from your own mission in life. So anyway, back to where I started making ASMR videos for you guys, and I will be incorporating my Bible studies and things like that onto this channel, as well as regular ASMR, which is how this channel started in the first place. So thank you so much for being patient with me. I'm an imperfect human being, obviously, and I'm learning along the way as well. When you start something public like this, I think the enemy likes to have a field day with you. Anytime you're focused on God, the enemy is going to attack, and sometimes the attack comes in ways you wouldn't expect. So, I'm not going to be focusing as much on my vlog channel. This channel is my main focus, and I want it to be an encouragement to you as well as a place to come that's peaceful and relaxing. So, I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you so much for sticking with me and for supporting me and for always being there with encouraging comments. I love our channel's community and some of you have been around since the beginning. Some of you have gone out of your way to encourage me and oftentimes people don't realize that encouragers need encouragement. So, it's meant so much to me. I've read each and every one of your comments, and it has always been a priority for me to engage with you guys. I don't want anybody to ever feel like they're not appreciated, and sometimes when you get big on a platform like YouTube, you don't have time to engage as much with other people, so I'm actually thankful that my channel is still little and growing slowly because I've been able to engage more personally with you guys in the comment section and that's the most important thing to me. This channel is about those who feel forgotten, for those who feel left out, for those who feel different or like they don't belong or don't matter because I've struggled with feeling that way for a long time and I always want you to know how loved you are, how much I appreciate you, how much I love you, how much God loves you, and I look forward to what God is going to do in your life and in mine through this channel. We were not brought together on accident. I truly believe that God brought us together on this channel for a reason. It's in my mind that maybe someday I would have some sort of event where we can come together and maybe meet each other and uh, fellowship together in person. So I still have a lot of ideas for my channel and this ministry, and I just want to thank you again so much for supporting me. It means so much to me. I love you guys, and I will see you next time. Bye for now.